All right, let's see what this package is. Do I? Do I? Do I just go this way? Oh yeah, yeah, it is this edge, okay. Every video. At least one of them shows up. Good oh boy. All right. <clears throat> Focus is open. Okay, yep, yep. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't remember which seller this one was. I'd have to like check the eBay listing. This is the pre open starter deck. Okay. All right, cool. So, this is a Saiyan Saga starter deck. <coughs> um, they, every starter deck came in two flavors heroes and villains. Um, Starter deck, Game Scatter, Warrior Swords. I don't think it might be in there. Uh, <clears throat> this is a pre-opened one. It's missing the high-tech foil. I think I know that part already from the listing. Um, a little bit of no, it's just a Ooh, this one's barely been used. Oh, you can hear it click. Uh, well used ones don't click. Another scouter. Good deal. During your turn, beginning a new game. Oh, it's the old physical attack table chart. For the Saiyan Saga. Because <clears throat> how much damage you did. There was a chart. Yep. Um. Ooh. Mm. Quick play. <laughs> I forgot about the chart. That's the fast play. No one used that. The limited dragon symbol and then the score logo with a foil. All right, let's get to the cards. So, this is a limited edition printing <clears throat> um, 
Oh, it still has the grease. So we got Raditz, the one through three, which I don't have. Well, I have three, weirdly enough now, but <clears throat> two Saiyan Saga foil. Ooh, a Frieza Saga foil in first edition, no less. I don't have a lot of Frieza Saga cards. Actually, I don't have quite a few of these cards. I never got a Villain Saiyan Saga. I don't think I even bought a Saiyan Starter. Maybe I did. Because I have Vegeta, but I traded for him. And these are all in fucking good condition. Um, these, they all have the oil. Th these might be going in a binder. <clears throat> I might be buying a binder tonight <coughs> or tomorrow or Friday Night Magic um, or Friday Night I should say not tomorrow no these are all really good condition um stupidly so oh, how many were in that set I want to say there's 250 um the first edition high tech foils like five bucks so I might just order that separate um, no, this was a good bundle. This thing too. I'm finding used DBZ cards. They're in like amazingly good condition and I don't know why. Um, God, he still has all the oil on him. Watch out, look, watch out, because he's, gonna, he's just going to slide right in. God, the lube. Um... I mean, there's a little there's scuffing on them. Um, they weren't played with by any regards. This one doesn't have much for... He has a print liner, too. Yeah. For the Sand Saga, they did, like, the f actual foil. <clears throat> Where, like, the Frieza Saga, it's more of a... Uh, hollow um and they've sticked it with the hollow for every other set except for the trunks reforged special printings nah dude and like well this guy has a little bit of curl you know this guy does this guy does this guy though not much He's got more scuffing, though. I think I... I don't know if I have a complete say. I don't, I don't have a complete say in Saga. I'm missing some personality cards, but, um... I'll have to stuff those with some other cards to flatten them out. <clears throat> yeah, either this week or next week, I'm definitely going to pick up a, uh... A binder for these DBZ, for at least for these Saiyan Saga cards I keep getting. Because again, they are in stupid good condition. And they're first edition prints. So you know which? Oh, there's my Hikora binder. I promise my Hikora binder is like a 200 or 480. And I don't know if I want to do like one set per binder or two sets per binder yet. Are there any rares? I don't think there are any rares. That's a new one. Oh, that's a Burger King. Oh shit, that's the Goku Burger King promo. I didn't even see him in there. Shit, it's got a lump one per deck. I don't have that card. <clears throat> That's new. Yeah, I have, there's several new cards in here. Oh, this was a good buy. 
Yeah, dude, I didn't even see you in there, bud. Oh, God, and you still have the grease, too. The earlier DBZ cards, they, like, greased them, so they slid better. Nice. Yeah, I think it's, I paid 10 bucks with some dumb amount for shipping. Yeah, no. Good haul. I'll have to hunt down the... I'm bummed that the high-tech foil isn't in the set. It probably got destroyed. The Saiyan Saga high-tech foils are weak sauce. Um, let me... Real quick... Since we're on the subject. I'm gonna have to... I wanna keep these separate, because they're so nice. And these ones too, because they're like mint trunk saga cards. Oh, was I doing? Yep, they're different. What's in here? Oh, sleeves. I'll have to... Oh, the art cards. More sleeves. Fuck. Alright. So, let's see here. Because look, my cards all are beat up a bit. They are all well played. Um, you know, very few of them are nice. Not that I like didn't take care of my cards per se. I just they were used. They're game pieces, right? And a lot of these I played with before sleeves. Um. So it's going to be nice to have uh, these brand new cards to be kind of interjected in. Because they are going to be... Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Cards are falling. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. So here's, like, Vegeta. Um... Frieza. Yeah, here we go. Vegito. Do. Um, I had another one. I think I traded the the regulars away. The, the actual like main personalities to somebody else. Cause if you look in the corner, this is technically a damaged card. Cause the front, the way they did this was the print image is on top of the foil back. And, uh, really easy to do, happen all the time. They're just a sticker, basically. Um, I said this one's already damaged. I'm not a fan that I just damaged it more, but I'm probably just going to order another one. Um, let's see if I can get that re-glued down. I don't know. We'll see. I got like the promo Frieza Saga ones. For the MPs that are in the Trunk Saga, they don't have a level 1 high-tech foil. So they did promos. That was a hoot. Um, uh, yep, I have the other two. April Kitty. Dude, you guys today. You're the worst. The worst. Oh, shit, what card is that? Damn it. No. Alright. Alright. Ah. Yeah. That's no, interesting. It's a good haul. Good fucking haul. I have to. I said, I'm probably going to hunt down another Vegeta 
high tech foil. Um, I don't know if I'm able to find one cheap or in first edition. So I might try to figure out how to re glue them. But, uh, yeah. Is what it is. Those first high tech foils, terrible design. Um, the later ones, for the most part, got better. Occasionally, they'd still do something stupid. Like, uh, where is he? Uh, these are some Boo Saga cards. I've got. Is it Gohan that's damaged? Uh, no, Gohan's good. Yeah, that was the gimmick for the Boo Saga ones. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, it was my Majin Boo. Um, so you couldn't play this in a sleeve. You need to play him as is, right? Do, 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 do. And then you'd also play this one. And I would opened him up to like, I tried to like flatten him out just so he'd lay flat on my table. So it buckled here it's peeling here and it buckled and tore right here in the center i was like what nope but it looks like it's bending in here now too oh this corner's busted this one um i have a first edition it's damaged i'm not gonna get too beat up about it um I'm not really seeing Boo Saga cards. It looks like the later sets, there's less of it floating around. Um, just like in the show, I'd say the Cell Saga is the peak of this card game. But yeah. Um, overall, this is a really good box. Really good condition. Um, I'm seeing Saiyan Saga booster boxes for like 500. Um, I can't really monetize because I don't have a thousand followers yet, but... If I add the currency. Oh. Yeah. No, I like this. This was a good deal. Um glad to have a new I I would really I, I, I these. These are nice. These I am. Yeah. Good fucking deal. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching. All right, so this, so I ordered the, you know, saying here, the villain deck, and it had Raditz as its main personality. The problem was, <clears throat> uh, didn't have the high-tech foil. Everything else was in there, really good condition, you know, first edition. How do I open this without damaging any letter? So I ordered this thing, and the dude ships it with eBay delivery services? It ended up coming USPS anyway, like I don't know why you just didn't go to the post office. Um, the tracking information had it was like, oh we're delivering in Pontiac, not, you know, like, like shipping out from Pontiac versus the town I live in. It was really dumb. <coughs> I just taped the fuck out of it. Dude. I'm actually thinking about buying 
a thing of Ultra Pro outer deck sleeves that are clear on both sides for my tokens, because I got the Warhammer deck, uh, the, the Magic 40k Warhammer deck. Decks, I got all of them actually. Okay. Yeah, I might just buy one thing of them. Wow. Corners are all in good condition. These ones they usually get a busted corner. Hot shit. I don't, I don't like the um, picture on that sleeve. Um, yeah, I'm buying more sleeves to Friday, so it doesn't matter. It's like two days. That thing's got a crease on it. Ew. 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 Those are my damage sleeves. <clears throat> yeah. Can I double sleeve these? I can. So I might actually pick some of those up. I'm glad he did that. Um, cool. I can put this in the box. And I'll probably add this to the other video if it hasn't already gone live. And with that, I thank you for watching.